Hi guys, this is Goodflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. So, um, we did some nice Tartarus stuff, but, uh, they're not gonna let me go any further, so we might as well just go back to our dorm. When you do that, the day is officially over, or beginning, because this is in fact some midnight interval thing. <laughs> of course, 22 seconds in, I'm already stumbling with my words. Um, so then... I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay. I'm walking to school, of course. And this guy. Hello, you're Minato, right? <laughs> I guess, of course, people know me. Man, I knew it. I heard from Junpei that you were pretty close to Yukari, son. Why is that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with more experience anyways. That's, uh, okay. <laughs> That's not weird at all. You're Kendi Kenji Tomochika. Interesting name. <laughs> I know, right? Tomochika? I don't know. Just, I, 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 I don't know anymore. That's the thing. It's the problem nowadays, I just don't know. Um, oh boy, an assembly. In real life, I usually ditch these, but oh my god, do I really have to watch these now? Oh my gosh. And, okay, cool. You know, haha, 3D, pun, except it's not. That's just a coincidence of letters. God, I swear, whenever you're talking about Mitsuru... Yukari, it's just like say that angst, envy, There's central. My like God, <laughs> she just won't let up. Just hate each other, don't they? Group, right? I mean, they don't. I mean, I'm sure they'll get yeah. along, but you know, doesn't it feel like that way, that way? That there's some sort of, you know, aura of hatred, rather, between them two. Well, it's not really like two ways. It's more just like Yukari just being. Uh, Yukari. <laughs> but you know, she's not that bad. I don't know. However. Change and, uh, occur. yeah, this is, um, a super deep, uh, speech thing, because those happen. Those don't happen over here. Those don't happen ever, do they? I mean, look at all the fancy words she's using. <laughs> Somebody went to theosaurus.com. There's thesaurus. You know I suck when I can't even pronounce the word. I can never pronounce words I ever pronounce. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Man, this, this is just so inspiring. It makes me, like, want to do work. Like, like homework or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like, like I'd ever do that, right? Um, but anyways, yeah, that was pretty fantastic, wasn't it? Exactly, Junpei. My, my gosh, my nose is like so stuffed right now, it's like, I haven't, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been, it's been a while, and I feel so bad because every single part I record, I always say it's been a while, and that's because I've just been getting really, really lazy. I guess it's partly school. Maybe school. I mean, not really. It's more like the fact that I piled up schoolwork that's now due, that it's now becoming a problem. If I was just responsible, like good old Mitsuru told me to do, then maybe I'd, you know, be uh, pushing out LPs much more often. But, you know, that's just me. Um, and Miss Toriyumi, um, study session, or lesson, lecture. We don't, we, we need to listen to these, so we need to stay awake to listen to these, but we don't actually have to listen to them. Luckily, that still gives us the intelligence boost, or academics, rather. Because <laughs> there's a difference. So, after school, finally, we have freedom. And, yes, um, limited freedom, rather. There's not much we can do right, do right now. They say you can, you know, boost your social links, but we don't have any of those right now. I mean, we have the full one, but the full one is gained automatically. You don't have to work your way towards that. But, um... We do want to bail. I mean, we could go to millions of places, but I'm pretty sure there's something that happens. I really don't know. That's a dirty lie. This is post-com. It's impossible for me to not know. Um, but we might as well talk to the people, you know, along the pathway. Because you gotta just see everything, right? Um, and this is where your three stats, academics, charm, and um, courage come into play. A lot of the times to start social, um, to start some social links, you actually need to have... Um, your one of your stats needs to be at a certain level to actually start them. Um, most of them do. So you might, I mean, we're 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 trying to do a max social run here. That was poorly worded, but you get the point. It's one of those. Oh hey, Akihiko fan and Giddy schoolgirl. <laughs> I guess Akihiko is just the ladies' man. Who would have thought? Uh, I mean, uh, right? I mean, why wouldn't he be? Seeing how was, how confident he is all the time, right? The confident student. 
but now I've got a good excuse. Right, because you want to get with Akihiko? Or the girls surrounding Akihiko? I, whatever, Junpei. I'm not, I don't judge. I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. <laughs> I wonder where they're going. Ah, uh, video games. Man, you can't, you can't get two like, footsteps in without getting hey, yelled at. Guys free this afternoon? Oh yeah, this is how we get in. Hell so yeah. coincidental. What'd even Junpei is like, yeah. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. Oh boy. You know where it is, right? Of course I'll we don't yet. But we'll be spending a lot, a lot, a lot of time there. The so that should be fun to get used station? to. You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who, these girls? <laughs> I don't even know their names. Ouch! So much, they give me <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, How could you not know their out. names? Obviously their names are Akihiko Fan and Giddy Schoolgirl. Oh, I mean, come on. The game friendly? tells you that right there. Th those are their the legal names. Their parents. So cool. Their parents named them. Oh, and Admirer. Their parents named that one chick, Akihiko Fan. That's their full name. You know. Look at them. Their faceless characters we'll never get to see again. But, um, yeah, Polonia Mall. You decide to head over there. Do we? Don't we have, like, the option to not head over there? I mean, that'd be a dick thing to do to Akihiko, but, you know, we might as well do it. Oh, and Junpei's following us. Rarely does that happen. Usually we're doing stuff alone. Like this stalker chick sighing all the place. I have a strange feeling that somebody's... Remember those Geico commercials? I miss those with the googly eyes. <laughs> I could... Yeah, who cares. So now let's go to Palonia Mall. We don't even want to even consider the other places because we can't break a promise, right? Because... <laughs> that'd be horrible. <laughs> Something that would reverse social links. Even though that's not even a thing yet. So let's go to the police station. This seems to be the police station. Really? You sure? I mean, it's only labeled police, but whatever. Um, oh hey, Akihiko, you made it. Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. And who's this fine, young, old chapper? I was um, waiting for you Kura, I didn't even read the name. This is Officer Kurosawa. Kurosawa, of he course. Keep our squad well equipped. And right? This is With swords and medieval weaponry. Because <laughs> that's the most efficient way of Sweet. fighting things. Sweet. In RPGs, it definitely most is. Guns are useless, right? You can't fight empty sword. Yeah, yeah. Officer you get Kurosawa the point. Has, <laughs> Have any, has anyone ever read like the grand list money. of RPG cliches? I love that list. Of course they Fantastic. Do. Nothing in life is free. Of course. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Um, Thanks well, again. we gotta have our twee moral of the day, so, you know, nothing in life is free, guys. Remember that. Um, I've been informed did we get our 5,000 yen yet? I'm pretty sure that happened, but I talked over it. I'll be honest with you, half the time I'm not even I'm looking at my screen. I'm sort of just officer. staring into the wall. <laughs> right? I mean, wh what's so strange about it? RPG? RPG protagonist buying swords and fighting elf evil? That's totally normal here. Okay, so now we can buy our weapons and armors. Um, fun fact. I am very, very incompetent when it comes to this. Um, not only are they really, really goddamn expensive, no matter at one point of the game you're you're in, I always just forget to do it because um, this guy isn't available during uh afternoons, right? Yeah, he's not available during evenings or whatever time time period it is where I would normally see him most. So I never get the chance to shop there. Um, so this is the game panic. This is probably where we'll be spending the majority of some time interval. <laughs> right now I can't get my shit together, now can I? Um, you can do a bunch of stuff for a bunch of money. Um, if you were a competent player, you would realize that there's actually a movie playing, you know, in, um, in one of the stations that boosts your courage by, like, a lot. Like, a lot more than Horror House would. So, you know, <laughs> the responsible person would do that, but, um, I kinda dropped the ball, so, you know, there's Horror House for you. Um, I also didn't realize that it was after school. I guess I guess that that whole cutscene didn't take up a did take up time, which is crazy because next to everything does take up time in this. Buying a, <laughs> drinking a cup of coffee will take you like four hours to do. So you know, just remember that. So this is evening. That's the time period I thought it was. Officer Kurosawa is not available in the evenings, and that makes things so unfortunate. Um, but anywho, during evenings you could either. You could, you could, uh, well, you could either go back to the mall, or you could go back to Tartarus, which, um, is the main time you'll be going to Tartarus. Of course, it's the only time, which, um, 
is a godsend since it doesn't interfere with your social link timing. But I'll talk about more about that, that, that stuttering later. So, now we're going back to Tartarus, because I couldn't just get enough of it, right? <laughs> Isn't the place just amazing? Um, so now we can actually go to more floors of Tartarus. We got our three party members. I mean, two party members for to make up our three party. And, um, yeah, I mean, later we'll get more party members. Right now it's three. <laughs> Three's just a crazy low number. It's usually four, but we don't even have a fourth person because Mitsuru just doesn't want to do stuff. So, anyways, welcome to Tartarus Block 1. This is a very, very tall tower. It's where the majority of the game is spent, but I probably sp explained this all once before. Uh, Mitsuru is always going to give you these generic stock. Hey, I'm sensing enemies above the floors. Go higher lines. So, um, I will be cutting out most of the battles and most of the floors eventually when, once they become that tedious because there are a lot of floors. Um, I'll be showing new enemies, you know, the, the, the standard in rpg -ness. You'll notice I saw the stairs and I took the stairs. Um, typically in this game, if I see stairs, I take stairs. I don't explore the things. That would take forever. Unless I'm grinding or something like that. Either way, so, um, new enemy. I got, actually, the enemy disadvantage, whatever you call it. And, um, yes, thanks. <laughs> thanks for giving me a hand, Akihika. Um, but, yeah. That was an, a new enemy. I don't think I even got to scan him because he died too fast. That's the thing. Um, when you're trying to figure out the enemy's weaknesses, you gotta make sure- It takes a couple of turns, and if you kill the enemy, you're not gonna scan him. So you, so if you want to scan an enemy, don't attack that enemy. And I'm kind of stupid, like really, really stupid, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just really incompetent like that. But yeah, just make sure you take that into account when you're scanning an enemy, not to kill them too fast. Unless it, it's, if it's your first time. You'll notice that fire did absolutely next to nothing to Junpei. That's because Junpei is resistant to fire. Um, all your partners have certain resistances and weaknesses. Pretty standard. Um... I'll explain that later when it's <laughs> when it's screwing me over, which it probably will eventually. Um, very much more closer than you'd think. I can't figure out the right time to actually like cut out the battles. Like, I don't know, because it doesn't fade to black. <laughs> I've I realize this now. There's no point in which though they fade to black. It blurs, and then it starts the battle. So you know, maybe I'll learn through editing finesse, my editing finesse rather. So um, we can just keep on going up. I'm surprised we really don't get that much floors done in this part, as as ludicrous as that sounds. Um, so anyways, yes, this place is in fact a maze. -ing. But, um, you know. Also, if you're, um, if you happen to be dying, um, you can actually talk to one of your partners, if your partners have healing abilities. Junpei doesn't, so don't bother talking to good old Junpei. But, um, you can actually talk to your partners for healing if you don't have healing for yourself, which is like never. I'm pretty sure I I even have Pixie, which has Dia, so I could heal. Um, unless you, of course, you want to conserve Minato's SP, which is like throughout the entire game, because typically, with his like you know Mr. Infinite potential, he can always be using move. He can always be you be using magic that's super effective against um enemies. So he's always going to be using magic like all the time. So he's going to be using SP a lot, until you be, <laughs> unless you find like a really, really, really powerful strength persona, which isn't, eh, that's later in the game, right now it's, it's pretty basic, Aji, on, on Junpei, the most useless thing to do, um, what you saw there was rushing, basically, um, uh, what's the, what, what's, what is the basics of it, it, it just puts you on auto attack, and you just do your basic attack, also, if Junpei actually misses, or most, a lot of the, um, a lot of the, like melee meleeers if they miss sometimes they fall over so be careful about that um so yeah we leveled up fantastic so i mean i swear this place is just riddled with enemies but i cut that battle out but this is important because um finally um one of these shuffle times yields a new persona this is asparagus i think asparagus i don't even know but um <laughs> But now we have a new persona, so yay, we can actually, we have a lot of them, don't we? And again, Yukari, she she is in fact the main healer of the group, so you know, she's always willing to heal. Keep in mind that does use SP even if it's not in battle, so you know, 
<laughs> she will run out eventually, and trust me, these treks get in Tartarus get pretty damn long. Um, and you run into a lot of dead ends. A lot. <laughs> a lot of dead ends. So, you know, be wary of that. Um, so anyways, ooh, new enemies. Again, I always want to kill them. Probably, later I'll probably start avoiding them, and in fact, like, you know, start to, um, start to just grind off screen. That would probably be the responsible thing to do, but who knows. So, now that we actually have a new persona, this persona actually knows Bufu, which is these enemies' weaknesses. So we did, we just, right there, we changed personas mid-battle. Um, you can actually change personas once per turn, and it won't cost you a turn. But you can only do it once, so keep that in mind. So again, all these enemies are weak to Bufu, so now Minato has the ability to actually totally wreck them all. So you know. That's why Minato is just the, the bomb diggity, of course. Um, the green plant looking wand thing. I think it's a wand. I think that's what, what they want you to look like. It looks more like a plant, honestly. Um, is an XP boost. You gain, um, more XP than you normally would, which is fantastic. That's usually what I go after. If it's not money. Or, um, or what else. <laughs> I can't think right now. If it's not money. Or another persona. So, um, so seeing as these guys are weak to Aji. What I want to do is actually use Bufu on that guy, and then switch to um, Orpheus, because if I switch to Orpheus first, I wouldn't be able to kill the guy who's weak to Bufu. Strategy! I always love it when I can use him in games, even though that was like the most basic of basic things. But, it doesn't matter. We killed them all. Lovely. And we didn't even have to use any all-out at all attacks this part. Ain't that just fantastic? So yeah, it's more shuffle time. Um, they start out pretty simple. They're pretty much simple throughout the entire game, I'll be honest. I mean, they mix things up, but um, as of now, it's really, really easy. Also, did I talk over the fact that Yukari wasn't even in that battle? I'm pretty sure that was a thing. I mean, it didn't matter, because <laughs> Minato pulled all the weight, but sometimes, um, if you get separated from your partners, especially from, like, stairs or something, um, they won't be in the battle if they're too far away, so be wary of that. You don't want that to be happening, because <laughs> that's a bad thing if the battle happens to be hard. So, you know. Um, so we reached a checkpoint floor, they have a lot of these, they're always the same, so you don't have to worry about them, like, you know, moving around, and they always have one of these access points, which are just the godsend of Persona. Oh my god, I'm so glad these things exist. Um, so basically it lets you transport from any other terminal, so, like the one on the first floor, which lets us heal our HP. Yes. So, um, and there's always, um, a mini-boss, so we'll be taking on that mini-boss next time on Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!